Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you um, how to add the little spectrum things and the now playing track onto your OBS. Um, <coughs> so to the track name, sorry. So to do this, you're going to need to download Fubar, which is this, um, and a Fubar extension, which is this. So to install a Fubar extension, you're going to need to go um, into your C drive and look for Fubar which be located here and go into components and just shove that in there. I've already done it so I'm not going to. Restart your foobar. It should be done. Now, um, you're going to need to download your music. So I, you can find a way to do that. Basically you just need to find a YouTube download or something like this. If you're not using it for commercial use, I don't think it's uh, illegal or anything. So, yes. Um, now I'm going to be listening just for... Uh, I'm going to be listening to a song that is not um, not copyrighted for for this. Uh, is it this? I think it's this. Yeah, this is it. This is a uh, funky sloth. But anyway, so yeah, let's let's just begin. Uh, so you're going to need to go into your OBS, which is right here for me. Now, I'm recording with my OBS, so there will be a bit of screenception, as you can see, I'm sorry about that. And then you're going to add a window capture, let me just remove this one. So add a window capture on top, and you press OK. Now, you're going to need to open your uh, window, so you need to go View, Visualization, and Spectrum. <clears throat> Here's my spectrum. Now, as you can see, it's kind of purpley. Let me just play this music and you'll see. It's kind of like a dark to purple. But anyway, to change these colours, you can go into playback, no, library, config, and go into colours and fonts, which is, as you can see here. And I've just done this, so the highlight is that, and the text is that, which basically means the, dark, the black will be at the bottom and the purple will be on top. The background's grey. You need to keep your background kind of near the kind of colour range. So if it was white, it would kind of be a bit dodgy. So yes. Now, once I've done this, I'm just going to refresh this, and you'll see it will say Spectrum. If it doesn't, you can just choose Spectrum down here. You can go subregion, select subregion, and just do this, and so we can get rid of all these numbers, so it's easier for us to chroma key this out. Um, I'm just going to pull mine in a little bit at the sides as well, and you're going to press anywhere out of the box, or press Enter, click OK, <coughs> and now as you can see, it appears here. You're going to double click on this again, and you're going to click Use Chroma Key, and you're going to click Select, and just choose that. You're going to turn the similarity up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Edit scene. I'm just gonna bring this down here. And play the music. You see it's here. Now do that. Okay. Looks like this is up too high. Bring this down a little bit. One minute. Okay. <clears throat> Put this down a little bit. What we're gonna need to do is just collect, recollect, reselect our sub region. I've been a bit of an idiot. There you go. There it is. Now we can use our chroma key. Just bring this up a little bit. Looks good to me. Now then, what we're gonna want to do is just go ahead and add our text, so our, our track name. So to do this, first thing you're going to want to do is go into here and go into preferences, file preferences. You should go in tools, there should be something called now playing simple. <coughs> you can click on these three dots and you're going to choose uh, somewhere as a text document. So, um, so you're going to want to make a text document somewhere to save this to. So in my documents, I have a text document called Now Playing Simple right here. And I'm just going to go in here and, and I can just save it there, basically. So now everything that um, that's playing will be put into um, that text document. 
so yeah and then on OBS you're gonna right click and go into add text and you're gonna choose it from that text document so you're basically gonna tell OBS please take everything from that text document so let's do that when it decides to stop crashing text is always a bit slow for me there. not 100% why yeah anyway use text from file so yeah browse choose our text document you can choose all your stuff here so I like to have mine in the font chunk uh, and I've downloaded this font by the way chunk uh, press ok here it is so now it's unpaused so it's said pause now it's not very good at this is it being dodgy? it is it's being dodgy right I think I need to be playing the music works on this scene see Okay, let's re add this. Sometimes it does bug out, I don't know why. But, anyways, we'll use Ariel for now so I don't have to search for it. Now playing, go. Thank you. Now, if I want to make the scrolling, it's a little bit harder than in. Um, see, this is pause now. It's a little bit harder than in. Um, uh, uh, X split, there you go. <laughs> So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to use custom uh, text event. You're going to bring the size up a little bit. And you can bring it as, uh, like, as you can see here, it's it's going bigger. You can bring it as big as you want. Just bring that about there. And then we're going to put the scroll speed, because obviously it's coming off the side. We're going to put the scroll speed up a little bit. I just put one about uh, there. <coughs> Press OK. We've got our, we've got our beautiful text here, saying what it's playing. So yeah, this is, yeah, that's how it looks. So yeah, hope this has helped you guys a lot. Helped me a lot to figure this out. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.